Yeah. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! The Calcio Poly's back, Milan! I've got the referees in their back pocket once again. I think he's he stepped across him. Fully legal. I guess frowned upon. Just like chain up an 18-year-old. But Leo, I'm gonna over sign ya. When your career after that gritty? All I'm saying is refs. Just let us know how much. We've got a couple of mil floating around. We might pay it. Can Drip Lamar then for the new season? Seeing the Barca he gave me a little bit of inspo. To be fair, probably got the same transfer budget as Barca this season. Oh, pots are pissing. Away, we've gone dark. I'm titty looking like Darth Vader. And then the third white number. Mega classy. Might be my fave. But the first 11 going into this league season is looking more like surrender rather than contender. The loss of the skipper, Davy Klassen. Leave me, just like that ginger kid. I feel like pure shit. I just want me captain back. And last season, there was a young pretender who rose from the ashes. Gianluca Greco will be taking over that famous number eight shirt. Skipper duties couldn't fall to anyone else, really, could they? Um, Titi in his final campaign. At the end of the episode, we're going to be looking for a new commander-in-chief. So as we look at signings for the upcoming season, for the third and final time, Chizza comes in. This time on a permo, 2.75 million. Absolute steal for the classy centre-back. Visiting the job centre this season then, a few players that I've been chopping at the bit to bring in. Less people with no teeth, 14 kids. More techie Portugueses. Chiquino, former Wolves winger, finding a new home at Sorrento. Tall, dark, as women worldwide creaming their jeans and plays in Italy. Nah, I'm not talking about Ruben Choftas panties leaking. Miles Pert Harris, a player I've been flirting with at Halzo in Mansfield. And now we make a move to bring him to Italia. Now forward, we've been cycling for a few options until we find Momo Sanko. Pace. Power, finishing in abundance, and a real face. Why oh, have we never picked this lad up before? Answers on the back of a postcard, but for just over 5 million. Somewhere, David Dickinson's just blown his load. Mm. Now that's the real deal. But with the incomings being outgoings and two players who will be going out to find a little bit of game time, Shabalala and Gallo, we'll revisit you in Jan, see how you're getting on, see if you've got chance to fight way back into the first team. So with those deals completed, we're looking a little bit more Syria ready. But what can we get done this season, I think? It's time to get passports ready. I want a European getaway, but if you're back again enjoying this series, come on, make sure you've dropped a like. But the first game of the season up at the San Siro to play Inter. Like returning to your favourite bruiser after your missus breaks up with you. Just holds too many bad memories. But then you look into the corner and you see an absolute 20 out of 10 Colombini. If the San Siro is the Louvre of stadiums, well, son, you've just painted the Mona Lisa. The Costieri not willing to let this one slip, though Dumfries feels um titty stud slipping up the back of his Achilles. But minutes later, it's Aslani to be our young shot stopper. Greco's profile obviously has risen from last season. Martinez trying to end his whole career like he's a BBC news presenter. But as we enter the last 10 minutes, he steadies himself and a swift kick to the ball bag of all Sorrentians. Spaniard as well, proper piece of clit. Bellini being promoted to the first 11 this season. Distribution like a chav on a bike with a burner phone. Tell him what you need and he'll be there. Sanko little flick and then die off like a bra after bottomless brunch. And then it's Spenny on the scraps from the corner. What a signing he's been. Up against Roma, corner taken quickly. And it's Spen doggy dog again. Greco finding himself far too much space, but it's Pico equal. But then it's Sank, squirms his way through the Roma backline. Dink, smothered by Pico, but it's Seabert like an Alki playing Operation. The boys had a shocker. Smother the ball over the line like your dear old nan when she's promised you that fat inheritance. Remember, pillow over the face and just push. Roma do pull themselves a goal back, but Greco wins the ball high up the pitch. Sanko finds Chiquinho, put a little bit of swaz on it, Gromit. Top bins. Game done, you reckon? Well, Roma pull themselves a goal back, but the arse falls out of it late on. Bellini with two stunning saves, but it's collapse o'clock. You give the ball away too often, and it's like pissing in the wind. 
at some point, you're going to get soaked. Now we smell like a Weatherspoon's bog. Oh, yeah, now you want to start playing. Oh, you're desperate to go for a winner. Biko says, how we man, fuck off. Chiquinho sends the Cagliari defender for a hot dog. A little bit of relish, mustard, ketchup, and white onion. Can't finish it all, though, so he bends it. One man still yet to bag in a Sorrento shirt. Bondi long shots like your dear old nan when she's ready for bed. Toothless. But as he wins the ball, high up the pitch here. Felt like when Rooney spanked that ball after arguing with the ref. Although when he smashed seven bowels out of that granny. Either way. Sanko keeps up his excellent scoring form against Lazio. But Martino, a little youth side piece that we've been working on. Could be a bit of a player, you know. Oh, we're at it again, aren't we, ref? All I'm saying is, I know they're called the old lady, but they don't need help crossing the road. One day, we're going to smash the back doors in of her, but we'll have to wipe away the cobwebs first. No cobbies on Bellini, though. Fall in love with this lad. Not a fat lot you can do if we turn into MS mannequins from corners. Sanko, though, definitely one of those players who's like reaching into a magician's hat. He can produce something from nothing. Danilo's legs turn into a nice steaming bowl of ramen. Gives us the chance to nick our first points off a top, top side in Italy. And it's Pert Harris will have every single woman in that stadium snell trailing off their seat. Oh, to be fair, I might be even pitching a tent. If we were worried about the keeper situation at the start of the episode, we are not now. Delicious ball nodded in by Greco to grab all three. Next up against Monza, it's in die like a YouTuber using red circles in their thumbnails, desperately trying to stay relevant. But it's the former Monza man. Atencione pit pocket on his former teammate, and it's Sanko through on goal. And like inviting Hugh Edwards to a primary school, the finish is going to be illegal. Oh, yo, long time no see. Let's say, geez, it's like bumping into your ex while you're on a date with your new missus. Could have been two if it wasn't for Bellini spreading like a nice bit of cream cheese on a bagel. But it's Sanko. Oh, I would have bet me left bollock on you scoring that, son. Well, guess I won't be having any more kids. Torino fully had our pants down in this one. But once again, it's Bellini. He's clearly a Trump supporter. I'm setting up a wall in front of goal. Proper Gandalf vibes. You shall not pass! Last game before Jan then, Greco struggled to find a little bit of form this season. Is it the new expectation? Defenders know his game well. You could have sent the keeper a note on a carrier pigeon before the game. And he still wouldn't have been in the same postcode as this one. Had the ball moving and shaking like you've caught me. 3am in the Vic. Double Diplomatico. Andrik then stands over the dead ball as Bellini flapping like an epileptic in a disco. And it's Taremi to tap in. But Bondo plays a loop ball into Greco, touch of a gynecologist. Sanko can't lift it and it's Bondo's efforts that's blocked. But Chicken keeps it alive to Greco. Knee touch, volley. Keeper caught short like that. Nah, I'm panicking. I'm going to lose my job, guy. Oh, yeah, thanks, Atalanta. You've ruined my holiday. But as we enter added time, the forgotten man rises like a phoenix from the ashes, knocking on the back door like a porno actor who slipped into the wrong hole. Oh, oh for way, it's going to sting like you've had a vindaloo the night before. Have it coming out like rusty water. So after that win, two points adrift of Atalanta in sixth. Overachieving like that kid who licks the prick stick but knows everything about dinosaurs. Defo a bit of the tism about him. After looking at our two low knees, Gallo, come on leaps and bounds. Shabbat still improving, but in Millwall, he's probably busy battering skinheads. But it's a sad time, one lad being shown the door. Get the music out. All around me are familiar faces. Get licky, he's talking to Syria like a duck to lava, so cashing in now is key. But playing around with positions like I've been invited to casting couch, I've identified that we might have an area to slot in a new little bit of totty. But we want technique, we want quality, and when you want quality, you turn to a chav. Because we all know that chavs are unreal at football. Don't worry, it's not that wife beater. Sam Greenwood, naughty from dead balls. Can act as that lock picker. And then we find Kevin at Bogummer in the sale bin. 1.5 mil for a brick shit house. We'll fit him with El Serb like a long lost son. So, second half of the season, we're playing about with a new formation. Which should make us more potent going forward. But Spenny, um tits and Chizzer at the back. They got the stones to keep out some of the best that Italy can muster. Oh, who gives her this when Sanko's popping off shots like he's downtown Compton? Keeper clearly lives in a flat. He's got nothing upstairs. But then Branco finds himself the wrong side of Wahi. Yeah, he's bought and paid for that, and the Scotsman bags it like a pipe. But just before the hour mark, Sanko makes it too, but it's Wahi once again. 
Driftsoft Branko like it's the second Fast and Furious movie. But the shape on us coming forward makes me think I'm watching a nice game of Tetris pieces falling perfectly in place and Sanko's got himself a new job selling paper. Call him Michael Slot. Makes history, becomes the first player to get a Hattie for the Costieri. Into the Coppa Italia, up against our old pals Como Greco. Pot shot at goal, forces an exquisite save from the goalkeeper. Nine players behind the ball for most of the game. Grow up and get yourself a real job. But Bianchi, again, like when you send your missus to the bar, so she slips right to the front. Centre back goes to nick the ball, but she's already ordered the Tequila Rose. Bring a bone for us, Grex. Next round's going to be a bit of a toughie against our noisy neighbours across the water. Louise had Bellini scrambling, but long ball finds its way to Chicken Goujon. The lad brings it under his spell and, well, whiskers. Big long ball tossed into the box then, but it's Martino to sting the hands of the goalkeeper. Gallo, sweep it in for us, son. He's never been a janitor. Raquel may then leave Branco chewing on his dust, but can't lift the ball over Bellini and under the bar. But only minutes later, Raspadore gets a sniff. You'll catch him in your sister's knicker drawer. But as we look void for ideas, heading out of the compo, it's Greenwood. Lift the ball into Gallo. Leaves him a bamboozled with his first. Second steadies himself and the third. Hazel's heading for another 30 minutes. But I swear now, Gallo, come back from loan on something, whether it's HGH, Protein, or Forrest Bump, he almost sends us into the next round. On to penalties with both teams having one save. Bellini turns Simican away like a racist bouncer. Your mates can come in, but not you. Regulars only. But we know Spenny. Man's a regular. A regular bagsman. And that sends us through to the quarterfinals. Udinese, the oppos, quick start. Track your delivery from Bellini. Oh, it's on your toe already, mate. And die into chicken selects makes it one. Mm -mm, yeah, I like that concoction. It was quite nice. Oh, I'll make that too. The third one oh, would have been sprinkles on top of the cherry. In the league, though, mudslide vibes. It's an Zola once again. I want scouts at every single Fiorentina game from now on. On to Lazio, Richarlison opens the scoring. But just before the half-hour mark, it's lovely work down the line from Shikin Shiev. He gives the ball into Sanko. He just gives the ball a little prod pass looning. But then Greco, he's screaming to be finished, my son. But later, Spenny, chalk on his boots, hugging that touchline, drives inside. Works looning, but the ball loops up into the air. And you've got to die for three points. Greco rises like my wood in the morning. Into your nan in the final league game of these highlights. Momo gives it a little scoop. Mint chop chip, chocolate sauce and sprinkles. Bellini, smart stop against Marino. But having and die at front post from corners is like sending Warwick Davis to clean your gutters. But a free kick late on lays the ball into Greco. First effort blocked, but two bites of the cherry. Greco with a sticky chin. That's not the only thing that's going to be sticky, my son. So, semi-final of the Coppa Italia then, back in Turin. And like he's took a dump in your bog and not flushed it, Sanko producing a beautiful floater. Lands at the feet of chicken pie inside, drives it into the old lady's bread basket. Which leaves us going into this one, a goal to the good. Team for the second leg, then of course it's Akpaguma at right back. Um, Titi, Chizza and Spencer with Bellini holding down the net. Bondo and Greenwood in centre defensive midfield. Chiquino, Greco and Ndai. And big Momo up front. It's for a place in the final. And it's live. Somewhere in Plymouth, Wayne Rooney's ear holes are absolutely burning. Because we're here to bust nuts in the old lady. Come on! Copper Italia semi-final, 1-0 up. That's going to be frigging massive. Come on, the Costieri. Let's get this done today. Let's finish them off. Oh, Greco. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm a Vinga. Get across to it. Well across, Spence. Oh, he's kept it. He's kept it. Out it goes. Never. Camavinga. Come on. Where is he going with that? Oh no, danger. Get her back. Get her back. Oh, we've overran it too much. We've done it too much. Well done, boys. Sanko, what are you pissing around for? 
Out to him. No blocks. No blocks, what do you mean? No, I want all the blocks. Referee. He had about four bolts to the cherry there, ref. We're just allowed to do that now. Fuck off! Bullshit, ref! You're not going to call one, but then you call that one. I'd love to know how much, though. I'd love to know how much. Vlahovic. Oh, they're going to go short. Oh, no, they're not. He's hit one. Oh, my God. Oh, off the beams on. Kamavinga. Danger! Big save, Belin. Nice. Over to me and die. Ball to the far. Chikino! Hit it down. Strike it. Spence. Senko! Oh! Senko! With a sinker! And tell you what, can anyone see the Titanic round here? No, you can't, because it's absolute seven feet under! Get in, Senko! Oh, he says, I'll tell you what, Spinny, that's going nowhere near the absolute goal, son. So what I'll do, I'll take it full on the chest. I'll spin on it like a nice little Rolex. And that finish is worth about £10 million. Mohamed Sanko, get yourself in jail, son, because that's illegal. Half time. Half time should have gone, referee. How much they paid you this time? Dickhead. That's it, ref. Blow it! You prick. Honestly, you little bold nonce. Right, who's out here? Season? Love that referee. Don't piss around a bit too much, though, boys. Just like that. Danger. Oh, my God. That's the easiest one. That's the easiest one I've ever seen. I can't believe. We're pissing around with it. Oh, Bellini. He's had a couple of Bellinis at half time by the look of it because he's pissed. Here's Nunez. Nunez has come on then. Oh, even when we win the ball back, we're not we're not comfortable. We're not confident with it. Here's Jota. And City. Let's keep him out there. Bring it back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus, lads. Settle down, please. Let's get our foot on the ball. Oh, it's a step into midfield every now and again. Need to be clever with it. Need to be clever with it. Unless we can produce some magic! And again, Greco. Referee, we're not a foul. Just like my uh, Gary Neville, by the way. Unbelievable! Just stay. Just stay. Resolute. Win that. Well done, Spinny! Right, oh my god, I haven't even looked at the clock. Woo! Let's, uh... Let's get the... Let's run the clock down. Right, they're bringing people on. We're going to bring an absolute bagger man on just to just to eke out a little bit more time. Look at that. Keep going. Keep it running. Clock's still going. Three, four, five, six. Keep going. 90 minutes, right. They've given, they've given them a minute. Let's just keep them in there. Gallo, just keep them in there. It's done. Coppa Italia. Finale. Juventus. Don't know what's hit him. Well, I know what's hit him. That's Sanko Stunner. Get in. I can't believe that's the goal to send us through. But. Who are we facing? Who are we facing? So it's Juve and Inter to bow out at the side of a semi. But we're going full rock solid into the final. Replay of the live game from last season. Let's see what the refs are on, eh? Unchanged, 4-2-3-1. Up the Sorrento, boys. Come on. A uh, long time, no AC. Milano, we meet again, youth. 
How much you pay the ref this time, though, eh? How much? We're not at your gaff, though, are we, this time? We're at the National Stadium, the Stadio Olimpico. Come on, Sorrento! This is friggin' massive. Let's get one over on these lot. Nice. Bring Manny in. Ball over. That's a beautiful ball. Chiquino. Into Sanko. Got to get in there, lad. Got to get in there. That's what you're there for. Back into brick shit. Strike it. Bang! Oh! Oh! Are you taking the piss out of my life? Oh, I just took him out as well. Could have been a red. Stay goal of him. Stay goal of him. Well done, chids. Oh, the ball rolls. Oh, Bellini, well done, son. Sanko. Nicks it. Go on, Sanks. Go on, Sanko. Oh, you ain't got the burners on Leo, though, have you? Or have you? Have you? I never knew. Oh, no. Get it in. Oh, oh have you missed? Oh, have you missed? Oh, have you fucking missed? Danger. Jovic. Good tackle, Chids. And again. Oh, it's gone in. It has gone in. Of course, it's gone in. Hasn't put a foot wrong all season, Bellini. And he's absolutely fumbled that. Oh. Why is it that every single big game we have to make it hard for ourselves? Oh, it's not a fat lot you can do if it's straight at him. Piss off. Greco. Jesus Christ, referee. And that was a foul. So the first one wasn't, but the second one, Greco. Go on, son. In on goal. Finish. Off the bar. He was on his weak foot. I didn't feel confident. What a dick. Sanko with Kimmich. Edge of the box. Well done, Bellini. Bond it. Strike one. It's one. Straight down the keepers. Something needs to change. Dye needs to go up there. Chikino needs to go in there. There. And Greco is playing Cam. Come on, lads. Let's get this away. Let's get it up pitch. Let's do something with it. Ball in. Oh, Bellini. That's a big save. That's our ball ref. Come off his own player. Valverde's gone short. He's going to swing it in. Not yet. Kimmich. Fernandez. Liao. Big save, Bellini. This has got to go, lads. This has got to go. Ball in this time. Noddy down. Spenny. Meant to be to win die. Can get there. Our ball ref. Oh, what's the fucking touch? Oh, one. Sanko! Be alive! Truffles. Oh, he's lost it. Problem is, it's Hernandez up there, isn't it? Sanko. Still going. It won. Corner. Come on. Last chance. Last hope. Last friggin' roll of the dice. Ball in from Greenwood. Someone will get the red on it. Sanko's up. Gets it. Yes! He's fumbled. The bag has been successfully fumbled. And it's Sanko again. Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't put a monetary value. On the amount of goals, the importance of those goals that this man has scored this season. It's frigging huge. It's massive. And it's that man once again. Sportiello. Jesus Christ. Man couldn't catch a frigging airborne illness.
Oh my god, we've got another half an hour. I just, I've, I've completely forgot. That's not the winner. We've got another half an hour. But... Jovic. Big block. Goes. Sanko. Get it down and run. Get it down and run. Get it down and run. Chikino. Bearing. Greco. Oh, the last touch. The last. The very last touch. We could have sealed it. We could have won it. But it is. It's another half an hour. Just keep them deep there. If we can nick it, all the better. Per Harris, class. Greco, drive. Drive, 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 drive. Drive. In on goal. Got to finish this. Got to finish referee! He's got to go as well! You have absolutely bottled that ref. You've bottled it. Oh, my, my, my mind is going back to the Carling Cup final when Nemanja Vidic took out Gabi Egbon Lahore. We got the penalty, but we didn't get the red. Oh, my God, it goes to Greco. Grex, come on, son. You've got a chance here. We have got a chance here. Bury this. Bury this. Bury it! Yes! Greco, the future skipper, may, may, let me, let me calm it down, let me calm it down, he may have just won the Coppa Italia, Sorrento may get that gold trophy, wrap your hands around it boys, oh my god Greco, I tell ya, you haven't been, you haven't been operating at full whack this season, but when we've needed ya, You've come clutch. Come on, lads. Let's keep this tight now. Tight, tight, tight. Love it tight, I do. Nah, Greco's got, Greco's got something about him. Slightly more defensive now. Referee. Come on, ref. He's got to go. He's going. Ta-ra. Ta-ra, truffles. Ta-ra. Oh, you dick. Oh, I swear down. Ref, I just all I want to know is what the price is. Like, if you tell me how much I've got to pay, I might give it ya. Cross to it. Nothing silly. Nothing silly. Bellini. A magical. And a, a magical. I don't know what. A magical what? I don't know. But I just know it's a magical. Bianchi. Greco. Far stick. Oh, God. I forgot that he was left footed. Oh, have I tried that? Yes! The Costieri! They get one over. I swear I'd be... I swear I said we'd be back. We'd be back, Milan. Now, I didn't know it was going to be next season. And I didn't know it was going to be in the final of the Coppa Italia. But I'll take it every single day of the week. And then once and twice on a Sunday. Gut in Sorrento. It's the first big bit of silver. Oh, it's not even silver, it's gold. It's going to be the man who's hanging him up today. He hangs up the boots. His final game, the final moments in a Sorrento shirt will be lifting that beautiful, beautiful trophy. Sorrento Calcio, Coppa Italia winners. Come on! First big bit of silver and Sorrento making a statement in Italy. There's a new team ready to make waves. 13th place finish in the league though, but all the eggs were in the Coppa Italia basket. But the chicks that we're messing with next season, you're going to have to get your passports out. Pack your sunnies. Factor 50. We're going on a European away day. Top performance of the season, Sanko, obviously, 17-3. and three. Greco, 9-2. and two. Chicken salad, 7-6. and six. Go on, son. But with Umtiti hanging up his boots, who should we bring in to replace him? But I'm also thinking we need a new left back. But if we play this formation, we might need a new CM too. First foray into Europe. We need a bit of a revamp. New stadium, new name. Get in the comments section.
and also a few players that I've been scouting this season. Who should we be bringing in as well as some of the players who I should be scouting? Free agents as always. Couple tasties, you know. Jovic always caused us countless problems. Lorente, Serjan, Croissant and Elise all look like they could fit like a Durex. And with 19 mil to splash, shit's getting real. Finally, options for captain. Our assistant coach likes to lick the arse of Bellini. But I'm thinking Chizza, Spencer. But the one that just feels right. It's got to be Greco. Comment down below your pick. But with all that being said, geezers, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure that you've dropped a like. Make sure that you subscribed around here if you're new. The Discord is below with all the other socials. Make sure that you're following me over on them. And we'll be back with another episode of the Sorrento Massive very, very soon. It's much love from me, geezers. I'll see you in a week. And peace.